Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to part 2 from Tales of the Borderlands. Yesterday, or the last time we ended up, and we just finished a big old fight scene with the Loaderbot, we're going to resume and we're going to get I straight into this. I will name my firstborn Loaderbot. Oh, you know, pr probably not. But... I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I... I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That, that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. <laughs> Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys, a lot of those guys. Oh, come on. It was a little fun, right? You cannot honestly stand there and tell me that it didn't feel kind of great to kick all those guys' asses. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a little <laughs> awesome. But I'm sure it was as traumatic as it was fun. We're probably gonna need some therapy in the future, you know that, right? We'll be able to afford it. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Oh, hello. Get the hell out of here. What is this? <laughs> what do we got around here that we can scan up? Okay. Let's back out of that. Can we scan this thing? We can. Intelligence low, speed, fast enough, strength, fucking high. Twice the answer, twice the fun. Whoa, look at that thing. That was a, a bit of a beast, wasn't it? Look at Bullion. 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 Huh. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Yes. Vaughn. Yes, it does. Can we scan this guy, please? I'm not sure I trust him. What does the number says? Last word, what are you going to do? Stab me. Cause of death, stabbing? He's dead? Giant bughead. Hunting brooks available. Borrow. Okay. And, uh, smoke along. Okay, let's keep going. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. He's right, gone. You know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Vaughn really does not like this. This way. <laughs> oh, hello. Boom, not to be confused with his brother Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? <laughs> Hello. Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane. He will be missed. I am really not into this at all. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs. <laughs> no witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. 
Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. Mm. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. Yikes. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? <sighs> yeah, I don't think knocking's gonna work. Oh. It's locked. Oh, come on, are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Wow, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Why is that one gone? How are you? Not great! Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> what? What? Who are you? What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! <laughs> I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but, unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure. Why didn't you say so? Huh? <laughs> You're right, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. Grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. The guy with the key. Is, uh... Is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> he was just the go-between. The middleman. The puppet. The pigeon. Shut up! <laughs> I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well... I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so. Let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Show him the money, Vaughn. No problem. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's all the passwords on this thing. What's the problem? It's not a problem. It's a security thing. Just give him a second. Maybe this will give you some incentive to hurry it up. Ever 
see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so... The way I, uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look! You said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done! We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key. From me. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They've been all... Oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that! And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, you're not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome, let's do this. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. What? If, if, if things are weird, if you ha have a feeling about things... No, 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 I was wrong. We should definitely do it. August, Bubby, come on now, a deal's a deal. We didn't come all the way down here, just no, to... I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really. No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese, this is your department. Do something! I don't know what to do, man. Money or door. <clears throat> oh, Christ, we gotta make a decision, haven't we? Blow his mind, break his heart. Blow his mind, break his heart. Blow his mind, mind heart, mind heart. ABC. August. Can't let you leave with that, pal. Oh, no? And what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like he had a change of heart. What a steaming <laughs> load of scag crap. Oh, we're still <laughs> getting jacked through. Look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! That sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! Fiona, con artist. Also uh, you no, too. All right, all right! <laughs> Mission accomplished! <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Jesus Christ. Jonah. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. <laughs> you couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. Yes. <laughs> I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive bombing me for the last. Oh, okay. 
I get it. <clears throat> this fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. That psycho gang lord guy made his big stupid entrance. It's mine! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Who's the psycho gang lord? Oh, him. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. <laughs> Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking. It's... Oh, Christ, no, please. Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories. I think what we'll do we'll do chapter way. three, then we'll do chapter four and five Fiona, in the next episode. Relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. Felix raised you into a life of crime. So we're playing as Fiona now, right? I think so. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Iberian stooge. It should be good enough to prove one of them. That wasn't even real. Not too many fake. people have seen a vault key. Real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark. But you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. You can count on me, Felix. I know. It's just nice to hear it out loud sometimes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. What's that for? It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yeah, you get it all out. I guess. Uh -uh. Where art and culture flourish. Ah! 
All right, enough with this stabbing. Piss off. Sorry, girls gotta eat. Easy hundred dollars, easy clap. Easy fucking clap, eh? Felix didn't mention anything about a bouncer. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIPs only. Tector, greater violence, bad everything else. <laughs> Private function. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. So if you could just get the door for Wait, me. Wait, one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me just because I ain't the strongest of readers. It says owner, as in I own the bar. No, August owns this place. I know who I work for. We're business partners. I don't know. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Sasha, kid sister, partner in crime. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. I was sisters. <laughs> so we got that work. con for that yeah, thing. Either. I think that's how it worked. I think that's how it works. Hmm. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lady Estrells. We're old friends. You're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me and we met at Pyropeats just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I know. Yes, yeah, Sasha, I got it. This isn't my first rodeo. Good. Good. That's a relief. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, August. That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. Isn't that the guy who jumped out on us? Say hi to the missus. Okay. Will do, August. Maybe <laughs> not. Doctor. Yeah, oh. boss? Make sure Tommy gets home. Thanks again. Is he gonna shoot him or something? August? Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. It's Lydia, right? Strauss, Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted. That's me, Lydia Strauss. Sorry about the delay. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No! No! Please, please, August. Please, I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. You are. 
Yeesh. The little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. On bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Skip out on his tab? Yeah, something like that. Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. I don't abide dishonest people. Have a seat. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt, uncovering priceless artifacts. Long enough to find a vault key. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like the perfect amount of time. That's interesting. Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place, says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> it most certainly is. <sighs> Thanks, huh? All right. Let's have a look. Of course. How do you figure? You never heard of iridium poisoning? Can't say I have. Well, she's saving you from a couple of hours of puking your guts out. Ah. Well, then, thanks for that. But just say something sooner next time. I'll call up Vasquez. He's been chomping at the bit for this thing. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. But I know is I gotta move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. Is Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect a nervous small time Pandora and fuck. So I give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. No, we'll we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. I ain't that guy. I'm trying to do you a solid here. So why don't we just steal the money from these Hyperion guys and keep the key? Vault hunting's a dangerous business. There aren't too many people interested in keys that are willing to pay. Better to get the quick money. That makes sense. In and out. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. We'll follow in the caravan. Jeez. Slam that glass. We're in position. Let us know when they arrive. I have to say, I 
I was surprised when your friend grabbed my hand like that. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's a little possessive. What? Shut the... That's funny, considering she stole it in the first place. What was I supposed to do? I don't know, but grabbing the hand of a murderous psychopath would not have topped my list. Huh. Now you tell me. It's fine. At least you kept him from touching it. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. All right. The place itself. We're on. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a freaking bug stampede, some jerk off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, damn it. One of them has an echo eye implant. To go in. She needs Hold help. Hold on, wait. I have something you can take with you. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Uh, what? find anything in here it's about palm sized and has a small circuit board sticking out of it is that is this it yes that's the one I take for that look to yeah. that this will generate a low level electromagnetic pulse that should be enough to scramble his system but you need it close to the key sasha on my signal you need to get the case over to the vent behind you. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go, hurry! <sighs> Jerry, me. I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an air duct that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Right. On it. Why well, would you look at that? More money. Well, you filthy rich. Full poster? Is it here? Oh. Look at the tool chest. Hmm. Sturdy enough. Well, you gonna jump on it? Or are we pulling down the billboard? Aha. Uh -huh. That is the vent. I've got to use the chest, woman. Are you in position? I'm almost in the vent. Good. When you get to the end of the air duct, let me know. The EMP range is weak, so you and Sasha will have to work together to pull this off. Got it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. My deepest apologies, but we're actually closed. Shh. <laughs> How did you get in here? After those Hyperians were kind enough to express interest in my collection. Oh, what was that? I didn't hear anything. 
Keep it down. I came back to my special place. I'm Shade. Pleasure to meet you. I know it's hard to trust, but I'm a people person. Listen, my sister's in trouble. Let me through. Well, there's nothing thicker than blood, especially when it dries and you're scraping it off the wall. Oh. Just get out of there. I need to get through. I gotta go. We were having such a nice chat. <laughs> you ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? What is this? Have we completed chapter three? Almost there. So we're okay. That's chapter three. That's where we're gonna leave it, then, guys. If you did enjoy, please do remember to drop a like on the video. If you're new and here, don't forget to the subscribe button. I've been David. This has been Tales of the Borderland, episode number two. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.